Hey tubers and pickers, it's Drew the California Picker. Welcome back to my channel, California Pickin'. And uh, boy, I'm just busting at the seams. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm so pumped up to show you this, guys. Wow. What can I say? I had no idea I was going to run across this today. I've never owned anything like this before. What you're looking at is extremely rare. And... Uh, I came across it at a small antique thrift store and uh, it appears to me to be a solid sterling silver purse made out of pierced filigree work. It probably is from Asia. In fact, I'm sure it's from Asia because there's some some type of marks on the bottom that appear to be either Chinese I believe it to be Chinese um, but I don't read Chinese but I believe that those marks are Chinese and just from the profusion of detail on the work I believe it to be Chinese this is just what can I tell you I'm stunned by this look at the degree of detail on this let me try to get you up close. Look at that. There's pheasants. See those pheasants right there? All this pierced leaf work. There's another pheasant down here somewhere. Right there. Look at that work. It's fantastic. It's a purse, you guys. Look at this thing. I'm going to take it off the stand. Get rid of the stand for now. It opens up right here. Hard to do with one hand, but now what's interesting is the inside is painted white. I don't know why that is, but when I picked it up, very lightweight, and they would never do this in any other metal <clears throat> than silver. There's no reason to go to this great detail for some for something that's not real silver closes really nicely right there. It's got a little chain. Snaps. Look how nicely it snaps. Watch. It just fits right down into those leaves. Look at the back. The back is almost better than the front, I believe. You got these koi fish. Look at that. Just the workmanship is incredible. All pierced. Look at the workmanship that went into this. Sterling silver. Incredible. Is all I can say. What a find. And here's the bottom. That's got the mark. Chinese possibly mark. Could be Japanese. I think it to be Chinese though going to have to do some more research. It's hard to tell. My camera is not good. But some Chinese characters there. It's thick. It's sort of in the shape of a heart. That's a thick little bag. Can't comes with a real st sterling silver chain. Now when I say sterling silver, I don't know if this is 800 or 925 because there's no markings, but I would imagine they use high, high purity silver. Now I'm going to show you a little demonstration here. And the reason why I think I know it's silver, I haven't tested it, but this is one way to test it. This is a clearly a metal piece of silverware and this is a magnet and the magnet is going to attract the metal. See that? So this is a real magnet. Just to show you, the same thing does not happen on this chain. It does not stick to it. There's metal underneath this. I'm sorry you guys, I'm on top of 
them on top of metal so let me just put it up a little bit but no reaction to the to the um, magnet put this up here show you again up here the chain would basically stick to it if it was copper or had some other metal in it which it's not it's not jumping up it's not doing any of this so therefore now that always doesn't that's not always true because sometimes when something is silver plated and has copper underneath copper does not magnetize so but the fact is that it's so lightweight and it's such beautiful work there's no way that somebody would make it make this out of any other kind of inferior metal and I don't believe it to be plate but either way it's such a fantastic object all the way around profusely detailed it's just one of the finest things I've ever held in my hand not to mention own look at that and the back that what yeah that was the front the back I think is even better sometimes the Chinese and Japanese make incredible reverse sides that you'd never see let's go to the magnifying glass again anyway now let's 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 weigh it there we go we got my <clears throat> digital scale out <clears throat> it's set to ounces let's wait let's do that again it's set to ounces I want to go back to gram I'm going to go up ahead I'm going to show you that's grams is the first category second category is ounces now I first thought maybe this thing is too heavy for this little scale but we're gonna see there's no hanky-panky going on here we're just gonna put this thing on there and show you that it's five let's do that again I'm coming up, you can't see it, but it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 5.8 ounces. It's hard to get it all on there. Maybe there's a better way to go here. 5.9. So really hard but 5.8 ounces sterling silver Woo. not to mention the artistic value of this thing which is just spectacular look how three-dimensional it is I'm not going to tell you guys what I paid for this but you know me fantastic as far as estimate on price, I this is out of my league. I just am not familiar with this. Couldn't even couldn't even guess. But I think this is a, could be an auction item. Could go to Christie's, Sotheby's to get more of the heavy hitter collectors. I can only do so much. Somebody's really going to want this. I think this is going to bring a very high price. Some some woman's going to get a nice gift from her boyfriend or husband. Look at that. Wow. Anyways, I'm just a little dazzled. I got to go have a drink after this. I just get so pumped up from these finds. I mean, just the adrenaline. I'm telling you, I got to come down from this, but wow, I'm going to be looking at this all night long. So anyways, guys, please pass this along. Please share the video. Sorry about the length. I'm just jacked up today. And, uh, you know, hit like, subscribe. 
Leave your comments. Want to hear what you guys think about this? Have you ever seen such such a beautiful object and sterling silver on top of it? Wow, guys, can't believe it. It's great to be a picker today. All right, guys, keep on picking your sterling silver. Oh, by the way, this is for my friend Marcus. Cheers.